and it's already half half closed. All right, so I feel confident that I have the better, the bigger fish, but um, I want to get free bait anyways. Oh, that was a monster of a catch. I think I found the perfect fishing spot. You guys members of the Fisherman's Guild too. Suppose I am for the time being. Nice to meet you. My name is Lloyd. But Lloyd, Lloyd, that's a pretty funny coincidence if I do say so myself. What do you mean? We share the same name, my boy. I'm Lloyd, a master fisher of the Fisherman's Guild. Dan asked me to be a special guest at the tournament, so I packed my things and came all the way from Laburl. I'll be here for the duration of the anniversary festival. Let's reel in some prized catches, all right? Other Lloyd? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Is this the Lloyd that Estelle was talking about earlier? You know, that's going to out there. Can you just give me some bait? Full advice, don't go for the deadliest catch right off the bat. The trick is to start off by stocking up on small fry fish first. Now the real money catches won't be satisfied with some dinky earthworm. You gotta bait them with the real food, like small fish. Lots good for catching small fry here. Take this bait. Aha! Thanks, I appreciate it. Want we'll to start small, huh? All right, let's give this a shot. All right. I guess that was the only fisher. Give me bait. Against Gum King. Remember you have a good time, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I just wanted to sound cool. Well, you didn't sound cool. All right, I feel confident in a save anyway. When I checked out Joachim's Viperhead, so it's all up to you now. Out of the fish you caught, the largest among them was a Viperhead. The fish you want to challenge him with. That's good, I'll go grab him and announce the results. Will I restart if I don't win? I don't know. Are you sure your fish measures up to mine? Not sure, but I plan I don't plan on losing to you. I'm excited to see the results. You do the honor, Sir Don. Judge away, my friend. Let's see. Winter's corner, we've got an impressive viper head. Out of all the fish Lloyd caught, caught the largest among them was a viper head. After judging the winner is Oh one, well, it's a draw. Come again? Draw. Indeed, I carefully took measurements, and by some miracle, they're the exact same size. I have no choice but to call this a draw. How does that even happen? Oh wow, I can't say I saw that, that one coming. Only I made a rule to determine the victor in the event of a draw. So about our deal, how should we proceed? I wonder if this always comes out to be a draw, or if I just got really lucky. Uh, I think I think. A, I think it's about time I return to the hospital anyway. You're going just like that. Really, I was expecting you to throw more of a fuss. Excuse me, miss. I'm not some rowdy child. Well, despite the draw, I had a great time fishing with you. Still, I have a job that awaits me. Huh. He's a crafty one, ain't he? Uh, he was totally using us to buy more fishing time, I bet. Utterly despicable. I haven't the faintest idea what you mean. It was a pleasure, Sir Don. I'll see you around. Sure, pal. Look forward to seeing you at the next competition. Likewise, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, special support section, I have a hospital to tend to. I'll be waiting at the bus stop if there's anything else you need from me. That dude had us completely wrapped around his finger. He's cunning, all right. I do not trust him in the slightest. He might swim away the moment we take our eyes off of him. Yeah, we should take the same bus to make sure he actually goes back to the hospital. Where in the world were you, doctor? Uh, do you know how many people you've inconvenienced by disappearing without a word? Well, if you must know, I was competing in an intense event known as the Fisher Cup. It was put on by the Fisherman's Guild, and seeing that I am a member, I couldn't possibly skip it. I have an angler's code to uphold. This is serious, Dr. Gwenter. You do realize that Lytton is filling in for you as we speak, don't you? 
Oh, Lytton is. I really am blessed to have such a capable pupil. I think it would be rude of me to rain on his parade considering how hard he's working, but why not let things continue as they are? Yes, I think that's for the best. It will be very educational for him. Very educational indeed. Get back to work. This instant. Yes, ma'am. Is this guy always like this? He is supposed to be an associate professor, so I presume he has the qualifications. I do say it's a fine line between genius and insanity. That's enough before he hears us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a ple uh, it's been a pleasure, but I'll have to excuse myself here. Next time we meet, let's go fishing again, all right? It won't I won't take no as an answer. Again? Ignore that. I don't know what he's talking about. So, do you need anything else from us? Oh, that should be everything. Thanks for the help. You four are lifesavers. Don't know how else we could have gotten him back this quickly. If you ever need, please don't hesitate to come to us. Make sure to provide as much assistance as we can. Thank you. You can count on us as well. See you around. Give me some healing items, at the very least. I'm over here struggling. Give me some Zerum powders. That'll be a... A suitable reward for my my uh, you know, great effort that I made to go into a fishing tournament. I should have saved. A call. Oh boy, more trouble. Lloyd speaking. Yeah, working hard as always, Lloyd. Fran, how's it going? What's up? Did an emergency request come in? Yes, actually, something's come up. I'm sure you're familiar with the two gangs downtown. Well, there's been reports that they're currently fighting over the Harbor District. Seriously? What are they thinking pulling a stunt like this with all these tourists around? We are wondering the same thing. Quite a few people called the police, but it seems all of our patrols are preoccupied at the moment. Since you've dealt with them before, could we leave this to the special support section? Of course. You said the Harbor District, right? Have their ASAP. Please be careful. The Harbor District? What happened there? Apparently Wazy and Wald are back at it again. There are reports of them and their gangs. There are reports them and their gangs are causing trouble in the area. Oh my. Those troublemakers. Man. Did all the festival hype get them riled up or something? Whatever the case, they're putting innocent people in danger with a stunt like this. We should head there immediately and stop them. Understood. Alrighty, guess we gotta go teach those punks yet another lesson. Uh, I ask this, I would say decently, you know, frequently. But I like asking it because it's a neat question in my opinion. What do you think sounds more urgent? saying, I need you here ASAP, or I need you here as soon as possible. Sounds more urgent. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. Let me know on the Twitter spheres. Let me know on the platforms that I'm not on. That's... Give me everything you got, you blue blastard. I don't I don't need you to tell me that. Let's do this. What exactly are they doing? Not certain, but I do not get the impression they are uh, doing anything especially dangerous. Yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem like they're regular old throwdowns to me. That's an exhibition, come on. We should still ask them what's going on. Fortunately for us, Wazy and Wald are here. Uh, so I don't think things will get out of hand. Hey, what the heck do you guys think you're doing? Ah, oh, braces, huh? Oh. Got a call about some hooligans causing problems, so we came here as fast as we could. Aren't you those Testaments and Saber Viper guys from downtown district? Better stop all this fighting and scram pronto. 
Hex up with this chick. Pardon us, we're with the Bracer Guild. We received a message claiming that a fight had broken out, so we're here to intervene. The Guild. You're Joshua and Estelle Bright. Your faces have been all over the magazines recently. Yeah, yeah, the pleasure's all mine. Two of you are the leaders of these goons, right? I suppose you could call us that. I'm Wazy, leader of the Testaments, and this here is Wald, the leader of the Saber Vipers. That matches the contents of the report. Doesn't look like you guys are having a serious fight, so what exactly are you doing? Well, don't mind us, we're just having a bit of fun. Being as how it's the anniversary festival, we thought we'd try something a little different from the usual routine. And so we're having ourselves a series of one-on-one -on -one battles to decide which side is victorious. A series of battles? What are you guys talking about? Both teams have nominated five members to each engage in one-on-one -on -one battles. The final match will be between Wazy and Wald. We've agreed that the losing side will cover the winner's meal expenses for the remainder of the festival. Oh, that makes perfect sense. You guys are just having a friendly exhibition match. That sounds fun, so I guess I can let it slide. As if. I don't care if it's a friendly match. That doesn't make it okay to do it out here. Move your butts elsewhere. Or move your butts somewhere else. Uh, a lot of people pass through the street and you're being a total nuisance. Fat chance. No, I don't give a darn if you're bracers or whatever, but what does piss me off is how you keep acting like you're hot stuff. Don't get so darn cocky. Uh, now you listen here, bub. You're the idiot who's too cocky. All I'm telling you is to have some common courtesy. You suck a fool. Sounds like you're asking to get your butt kicked. Uh, I don't mind taking you and your little friend on if that's what you want. Well... How should we handle this, Joshua? Everybody's watching us now. Don't make any rash decisions that reflect poorly on the guild. Yeah, I figured as much. The heck are you guys whispering about over there? Well, I get it. You're getting ready to piss yourselves. Uh, now that you gotta face Wald Wales, the Demon Smasher. Settle down, Wald. She definitely knows her way around a fight. In fact, I'd say odds are good she'd take you down without breaking a sweat. What'd you say? Oh, how'd you know? It was just a hunch. Let's not ignore your friend over there, either. He's even stronger than you, isn't he? I've still got a lot of training ahead of me. Hey, rude. I mean, sure, Joshua is stronger than me. But it still pisses me off that you just assume that. Now, now. Uh, you know that being a bracer comes down to more than just brute strength. You're telling me this girly could beat me in a fight. You think you're so tough? Prove it. You got this, Estelle. Yep, it'll be a piece of cake. Huh? I tell you. You took down Wald. What the heck's up with it, that chick? That was amazing. Are all bracers this strong? Hey there, buddy. You alright? Laughter. My bad, I wasn't taking you seriously. Uh, don't you think you're taking me a little too lightly yourself, though? Oh, that was close. That's Del. Uh, you guys asked for this, you know that? Or, you know, don't start a fight with him if you're not going to finish it. Yeah, I get it. I really don't feel like we should have to be the ones to apologize here. Got you all riled up, didn't I? Uh, you're a heck of a fighter, I can tell. I love beating the piss out of you guys like... I love beating the piss out of guys like you more than anything else. Come on, pull out that weapon of yours, punk. Hey, cool your jets, Joshua. I'm fine, I don't... Uh, you don't need to get all serious. Hold it right there. Oh, now we're stepping in. Well, if it isn't the SSS. What are you guys doing here? We saw the whole thing go down. Please I urge all of you to calm yourselves. Ah, as if I could. These bracers are pretty darn good. I heard rumors, but who would have thought they'd get me this fired up? That's precisely why I'm telling you to calm down, Wald. First off, you're in a public space. Now, if you're dead set on having your matches, couldn't you at least do everybody a favor and move them somewhere out of the way? No deal. 
Isn't it a bit cruel to cut us off right as things were starting to get exciting? What are you saying, Wazy? Wald's totally lost his cool, and those bracers are just trying to do their job. Shouldn't they stick to their guns and fight each other? Darn straight. Now that I think about it, I'm actually kind of peeved, too. If we both feel the same way, then maybe we should settle it right here, right now. Bring it on, girly. Enough already. Joshua, don't just stand there. Say something. Sorry, right, Lloyd. I don't think I can let this one slide, either. I guess I'll be your backup then, Wald. You're strong, sure, but I'm willing to bet even you would run into trouble going up against those two. Whatever, suit yourself. Why is everybody in the city so darn stubborn? It's a spiraling out of control very quickly. No doubt their dispute will cause a large disturbance for the citizens. You know, if you're itching for a fight that badly, then why not settle it some other way? Huh? How so? If they're not able to get all their aggressions out, it'll sour the rest of the festival for them. But how about we do it in a way that doesn't end with everyone all bruised and battered? A more friendly competition, you know? Friendly? What are you talking about? I'm not sure I follow you, Randy. Listen up and be amazed. We gonna play a card game? I see. A full contact foot race. That makes use of downtown's rugged terrain, huh? Got to admit, that sounds pretty fun. This is great. Full contact. Heck yeah, you've got my attention. Lead power, technique, and strategy. We'll need to consider all of them for this battle. Wow, I'm actually getting pretty hyped for this. Right? Right? Don't let, it, don't let your head get too big, Randy. Well, I'm glad that everyone won't be fighting anymore. Won't we still end up bothering all the residents in this district? I do not necessarily agree. It, seem, uh, it seems a number of them have already gathered to watch. That's right. It's like we're our very own festival attraction. And besides, you guys are going to be joining in too, aren't you? I guess we don't have much of a choice, you know, other than having a choice. We're already this deep in, so we can't just leave things be. You just can't help involving yourself in stuff like this, huh? This was your idea in the first place, Randy. Fine then. If we're gonna do this, it's going to be an official match. That means by the book. Once this is all over, all disputes will be settled and there will be no grudges afterward. Yeah, I don't think Joshua or I are going to complain about that. Fine by me too. Can't pass up an opportunity to show the police and the bracers that they ain't Jack. I'll show you who's really boss around here. Bring it on, Buster. I'll beat you to the dirt fair and square. But I may have been just a teeny bit rude earlier. Well, sorry about that. Huh? Did it again. This guy never ceases to amaze me. This girl's so full of surprises. Come on, if you apologize now, then what's the point of this whole race? Well, now that it's a friendly match, I thought it'd be good to clear the air, you know? I hope we all push ourselves as hard as we can and have a heck of a good time. Never change, do you? You're definitely one strange chick. What do I care, though? Give me the rules, Red. Who are you calling Red? Anyway, as I was saying earlier, this game is pretty much just a foot race with a couple extra rules to spice things up. Wazy and Wald are team downtown. Estelle and Joshua are Team Bracer, and Lloyd and I are Team SSS. Out of these three teams, the one that completes three laps around the downtown district the fastest will be crowned champ. Uh, it ain't as simple as running in a circle, though. There'll be three checkpoints you gotta look out for. They'll be placed in various alleyways around the district. Uh, just give them a good smack and they'll light up. Uh, you gotta light all three checkpoints for it to count as a valid lap. But don't expect uh, to be able to just hop across the rooftops and call it a day. And feel free to mess with the other teams however you like during the race. If you're lagging behind, maybe running a bit of interference will gain you some ground. Uh, what kind of tricks you pull and how you avoid the other team's stunts is up to you. Got all that? These are some pretty thorough rules. Hey, just curious, are traps allowed? 
better believe it. Oh boy, oh boy. Not only can you fight each other head on, but also use the terrain to, to impede your opponents. Gotcha. Joshua, something wrong. No, it's just, I get the gist of the rules, but how do we determine the starting order? We'll settle it with the coin toss. Void, Wald, and Estelle, each of you uh, get out a one mirror coin. Okay. Got it. Now flip the coin onto the back of your hand. The odd side out is the one who gets to go first. Hey, that's a smart idea. Oh, here goes nothing. So, uh, Lloyd, Estelle, and Wald each flip their coin. We better not go first. Heads. Also heads. Tails. Looks like we're up first. Crap. Darn it. Uh, alrighty. Now, can I get you to flip another coin for me, Wazy? Sure. Lloyd, Estelle, heads or tails? Hmm. Go ahead and pick. Well, if you insist, heads. It makes me tails then. Open his hand. Tails. Team SSS starts second. Oh, sorry, Joshua. Not a big deal. Starting order doesn't matter too much with rules like these. Well then, now that we've gotten that out of the way, is everybody ready to begin? Yep, sure seems that way. Each team should get together and have a strategy meeting before we begin. Won't be much time for chatting once the race starts, you know. Pretty good point. Alright then, Wald. What do you say we have ourselves a lovely little private chat? Just the two of us. Never fail to give me the creeps. Hey, Lloyd. I'm sure you noticed already, but we're at a big disadvantage here. Yeah, you're probably right. Wazy and Wald know the downtown district like the back of their hands. Then I feel like Estelle and Joshua are more formidable than they let on. Pretty much. Uh, it'd be a shot in the dark, but with some solid teamwork and a little bit of luck, we might just pull this off. I'll cover the rear, so you go ahead and take point. No complaints here, but aren't you way faster than I am? When working in pairs, it's easier to coordinate if the faster one is getting support from the back. Besides, your Tanfa are going to be better suited than my Halberd for warding off attacks. Now, you've got a knack for making good snap calls, like whether to counterattack or, or dodge, and we're going to need that out there. Well, it's now or never. Let's give it a shot, Randy. Our opponents are no walk in the park, but if we're going to join in on this, we might as well try to win. That's the spirit. Oh yeah, that reminds me. This is a bit of a rare opportunity, so how about we try out a combo craft during the race? What? Are you sure? It's a bit sudden. Well, I'd say we're both pretty familiar with each other's movements in battle by now. So let's just go for it. No rehearsal needed. Burning Rage 2! In this race, you can choose to use it against the enemies. There's no need to worry about spending CP. They're not going to let me save first, huh? Alright then, allow me to fire the starting signal. On my first shot, Team Downtown will start. And five seconds later, I'll fire another shot for Team SSS to start. And five seconds later after that, Team Bracer will be the last to go. I will handle the countdown. We'll make sure to keep any spectators out of your way. And with that, the stage is finally set. But wait, the star has yet to arrive. Is it Grace? It's Grace. 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 Isn't she with the Crossbell Times? How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Some birdies told me about an exciting event that's about to go down here. Couldn't help but sink my teeth into this scoop. Sink your teeth into? The heck are you scheming, lady? The answer, my dear delinquent, is this. An electrifying full contact foot race covered live from downtown. I even brought my cameraman along, so let's show some energy out there. I'm not going to be able to save. I get the impression that she is trying to turn this competition into a spectacle. It's fine, isn't it? This is way more interesting than a brawl, I'd say. This gal. At least you're raring to go. How about time we get this show on the road? Yes, let's. 
Are you prepared, Walt? Uh, heck yeah, I'm ready anytime. All right then, I will begin the countdown. Heart throbbing waste has begun, everyone. Team Downtown consisting of Wald Wazy and is off to a sensational start. Incredible, they've already tagged the first checkpoint and are off to the second. Here's Lloyd and Randy's team of the SSS charging in the starting line. Randy is especially fast on his feet. Must have picked up the time with a CDF, but Lloyd is something something and they're off from the past the checkpoint. Final team is made up of Estelle and the Joshua and now the burst from the starting line. This to our bonafide dynamic duo whose teamwork is unmatched. Now tag the first checkpoint and are hot on the other team's trail. Oh, what is this? A bold move by Wald Wales. How will Team SSS react? Crap. It's your call. Breakthrough. Well done. Ha ha ha. Boyd and Randy managed to evade at Team Downtown's assault. Marvelous. They definitely dodged Wazy's attack and something something. What's the plan? Let's counterattack. Combo craft. Fancy. The heck? Got us good. Sorry, guys. We'll see you up ahead, or not. Second lap, here we go. Lloyd and Randy have taken a decisive lead and... They passed the first checkpoint. Hold up, folks. What's this? Estelle and Joshua are approaching Team SSS at an incredible speed. They managed to catch up. Hey, Lloyd. Huh? What? Quick line. What a shocking development. Where did this white smoke come from? Is this a trap laid, uh, laid by Team Bracer? Sorry about that, losers. <laughs> we'll be taking the lead. Crap. Uh, we gotta go after them. Here they come. We're breaking through. Think, Lloyd. Ooh. Ooh. Fight separately. Nice try, but we'll still be going on ahead, dang it. Gotta go after him, hurry, tag the checkpoint. We'll get distracted now, boys. Die. Phenomenal, Wazy and Wold have launched a surprise attack on Team SSS. Buckle foo. Now they've managed to pass the third checkpoint, putting them in a hot pursuit of Estelle and Joshua. No, earn it at this rate. Andy? Isn't this great? I'm getting pumped. I have to pull out all the stops, so let's enjoy the heck out of this. Embracer is sprinting through the square, almost reaching the beginning of the third lap. If the other two teams let Embracer keep this firm lead, the match is over or something. Oh, and here we go, of course. Team Downtown isn't going to make things easy for our dear Bracers. Heads up. Oh, why are you alone? Couldn't be. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, nice moves. Right back at you, girly. Spectacular performance, sir. Likewise. Let's go, Estelle. Yeah. Chase him down, Wald. No need to tell me. I mean. Got a dead heat between Team Bracer and Team Downtown with the end in sight. Which team will claim victory? I might, I might restart. <laughs> Unbelievable, what's this intense power radiating from Randy? <laughs> Wait, won't all that equipment get destroyed if it keeps this up? <laughs> uh, the 
heck's this? A wire trap. Got you. Darn it. I ain't getting away after that. Wait. Where's the other one? They're open wide. Nice one, Randy. Darn straight. Let's keep going. We're almost at the finish line. Wait, did I? Did I? How did I win? The SSS has managed to make an unprecedented comeback, overcoming the trials of this violent race. The other two teams have now reached the finish line. Oh my, which of them arrived first? Who cares, anyway? <laughs> Give yourselves a pat on the back. Uh, let's hear it for the round of applause for our audience members. Did I actually choose the right choice? Or... or... Nah, there's no way I chose the right choice. Somehow we won anyways, though. Great race, you two. It's on the edge of my seat. Congratulations on your victory. Uh, it was all thanks to Randy's strategy and traps. Ah, oh, man, if you weren't there, I would have never managed to pull off that last trick. I need a break, Lloyd. I think we pushed ourselves a little too far. I swear, you boys are all simple-minded or stubborn. Well, I suppose there was one girl participating in the race. Oh, you're right. You two sit tight for a minute. I'll go buy some cold drinks, okay? I shall accompany you. The marketplace on East Street is adequate, yes? You read my mind, Tio. We'll be right back, you two. Now that I think about it, I can't even remember why we agreed to this in the first place. Me neither. Guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Randy? Sorry you had to see me like that. At the end there, I got a bit too worked up and... <laughs> he smashed that thing. Honestly, I'm not sure which one's the real me. The chill guy who's always laughing and joking around or the monster who lost his cool and went out all out during a fun little game. I've lost sight of the answer over the past two years. Randy. Randolph. Can I ask uh, where you were before you joined the Guardian Force? I remember you saying you weren't from Crossbell. Where was I, he asks. A place as hot as Gehenna and as cold as the underworld. Huh? World frozen over where blood boils and souls burn place where the brilliance of life and the dirtiest filth of human nature blend into a depraved na a mixture of suffering. That's where I was. Randy, I'm just messing with you. Uh, did I get you? As far as I'm concerned, my past ain't even worth talking about. I'm just living life in the present now. I'm a suave, good-looking dude who loves the nightlife. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, Randy, I've mentioned it before, but I had an older brother. Huh. Guy Bannings. An ace detective from the CPD's first division. He was, an un he was unbelievably optimistic, almost to a fault. After we lost our parents to an accident, he worked hard to support me on his own. He was the kind of guy who wouldn't even let things like heartbreak or jealousy faze him. My brother was an amazing man. Sounds like it. Guess your life hasn't exactly been all sunshine and rainbows, either. Though you've been trying to follow in your bro's footsteps this entire time. Yeah, something like that. Actually, I have a confession to make. You know, Randy, you kind of reminded me of my brother. What? I mean, it's not like you look like him or anything. It's just the way you support Ellie, Tio, and me, no matter what we're up against. That part of you reminds me of Guy. Hey now, cool it with a sappy speech. Any more of this, my face will go as red as my hair. Even the way you get all jokey when you're embarrassed is just like him. Dude. You know, I've got a lot of respect for you, Randy. You're very uh, self-assured and confident, yet that doesn't stop you from being considerate and taking care of others. I look up to you, not just as a co-worker, but as an example of what a man should be. To be honest, I still have a long way to go. Even if uh, you were, even if you were to tell me about your past, right here and now, I doubt I'd be able to say anything meaningful in response to help 
uh, help you at all. How about this? Someday, when I'm able to confidently stand shoulder to shoulder alongside you and my brother, will you tell me your story then? Boyd. Randy. After such an adorably earnest speech, how can I resist? Mademoiselle Ellie was right about you. You're so darn cute all the time. You're like a natural boy born lady killer. Wait a sec, uh, wait a sec. I'm the lady killer here. Does that make you a lady killer killer? Hey, where's this coming from? And in case you've forgotten, I am an adult, so please stop treating me like I'm some child. Aren't you like 17 or something? What are you two doing? Where's my drink? Here, some cold drinks for you. On a stall, selling soft drinks. Thanks a ton. Yeah, uh, we were really thirsty. Seriously, don't get boys sometimes. Just wore yourselves out in that race, so don't fool around too much when you're tired. Do I detect hints of jealousy, Ellie? What? No. Why would I ever be jealous over something like this? More importantly, I mean, Lloyd wouldn't, right? Well, based on what I have heard, it is a genre that is swiftly gaining popularity. Surely a scenes uh, such as this would excite a great many fans. You think so? Sorry, Mademoiselle Ellie. Love is a battlefield, you know? All's fair, as they say. Andy. Uh, what are you guys even talking about? Lively as always. Hey, you guys already recovered? Pretty much. All I've got to say, uh, all I've got to say, you defeated us fair and square earlier. Darn, what a crappy ending. Hey, Red, how about you and I go for it, or go at it for real next time? And you went all out, uh, right there at the end. Uh, you've been hiding your claws this whole time, haven't you? Well, I wouldn't put it like that exactly. Using that much power all at once usually leaves me dead tired afterward. I prefer to think of it as a trump card, so I don't use it unless I really need to. Both you and that darn black-haired dude. Screw it, I'm too tired to think anymore. Saber Vipers, we're rolling out. Right. We'll use this opportunity to take our leave as well. Adios. It was a, uh, it was a lovely day of fun. Let us withdraw. Yes, sir. Well, at least these guys have better leadership than the raven ravens, huh? Nice job, guys. I could say the same to you. You two heading back already? Yeah, we were in the middle of a job before we got tangled up in this mess. Interestingly enough, we were in the similar situation. Can't believe it's already evening. Well, hey, at least we all had a ton of fun. Come on. You gotta live, uh, live a little during the festivities, right? It really is a bundle of energy. That's just one of the things that makes Estelle great. Hey, Randy. Are you holding up okay after all that? Oh. I didn't peg you for having the same background as me, but maybe I was wrong. No, my circumstances are a little different. But I do know a bit about what exactly you did back there. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been using it ever since I was a little kid, so... I should hold up just fine. Really? I apologize, I apologize if I said anything uncalled for, then. Don't worry about it, man. Randy? Hold on a second there. What exactly are you two even talking about? Don't worry about it, Estelle. Shouldn't it be time we left, anyway? Arios will be returning soon, won't he? Oh yeah, that's true. Actually, I just remembered something. Joshua... Let's ask them about that one thing. Oh, good call, Estelle. Might as well, since we're all here. What thing? I, I just, I just realized, by the way. I think I won because I chose to lose during the second match on purpose. I'm guessing if I used the, the, like the, the CP attack, we would have beaten uh, Estelle and Joshua, but then Wazy and Wald would show up, and 
we wouldn't have been able to use the same move against them, and so we would have only had to fight them one-on-one -on -one and we would have lost. So, that, that is my conclusion. Something up? Yeah, actually, you guys ever hear about this Schwarz Auction? Schwarz Auction? What kind of auction is that? Apparently it's an auction held somewhere in Crossbell. We got some intel that they run it every year during the anniversary festival. And this isn't some normal auction either. This one's extra, uh, extra strength shady. Uh, they deal in all kinds of stolen goods. Stolen goods? Are you serious? Well, it's just a rumor. Story goes that only the most lavish of items, each with mysterious origins, are put up for auction there. Judging by your reaction, I'm guessing you've never heard of it before. Yeah, that's right. I've not seen the term come up in any of my searches of the police database as well. War's Auction. Pretty fancy name. Ah, dang. I was hoping you guys would have heard something about it. Maybe it really is just a rumor. It's possible. However, given that Nile was our source, there may still be something to it. Sorry to bring up something so weird out of the blue like that. Anyway, today was awesome. Still a little ticked we lost, though. Here's hoping we get to work on a case together someday. Feel the same way. Uh, well, if you'll excuse us. Thanks for today, guys. Right back at ya. Thus, the second day of the anniversary festival came to a close. Lloyd and the others returned to the special support section. After wrapping up their reports, they decided to eat dinner and go to bed a little earlier than usual. Sleep time. The third day. My dog eating something out of a big old bowl. Uh, I'm beat. Yesterday really sapped all of my energy. And you're telling me we have three more days like that ahead of us. Reap what you sow, Randy. After all, whose idea was the race to begin with? Yeah, yeah, the regret is kicking in. I'm getting old. These shenanigans with youngsters are bad for my heart. What are you talking about, Randy? You're only 21. Or aren't you only 21? Lloyd? What is wrong? Oh, well, it's just I'm still thinking about what Estelle and Joshua told us yesterday. The Swords auction, wasn't it? Lloyd, the probability of that being a mere rumor is quite high. I mean, that's true, but... Given Crossbell's circumstances, I have a feeling this story might actually have some merit to it. And now that you mention it, this is a place where the Mafia just casually stroll the streets. You may be right, Crossbell's home to many strange occurrences after all. Truth be told, uh, I've heard of a similar disturbing rumor before. You have? About the auction. During my time studying abroad, I got to talk with people from a number of different countries. One such person was a noble girl I knew. I knew. Uh, she told me about a secret party that's thrown every year in a certain area of Crossbell. Secret party? Definitely sounds shady to me. Apparently, it's one where nobles and businessmen of each nation gather behind closed doors. Of course, back then I just dismissed it as a simple, uh, as simply a rumor. So now, I'm not so sure. I see. Could it be possible that this party and the Swar's auction are one and the same? If that's the case, the chief might know something about it. Chief had, a, uh, had business at headquarters today. He mentioned a mandatory meeting. Yeah, I remember that. Let's, pre let's pretend that this is all true. Can we even do anything about it? And be willing to bet the Diet uh, will get, get in or get on the CPD's butt uh, the second, the second anybody tries to touch the auction. Now you've got a point, but still, I understand how you feel, Lloyd. We have to focus on the post, uh, festival for now, uh, but we can keep it in mind. And you never know, we might come across uh, some more information while we're at it. Yeah, good call. All right, let's finish up lunch and take care of today's support requests. Yeah. Alrighty. 
stalker investigation, mind monster cleanup. Monster extermination. Be aware its breath can inflict burn. The best in person. First floor, the conference room, police HQ. The civil mine. Oracle Road monster exterminate. We have a request from the second division, exposing the counterfeit dealers. What exactly does that entail? Now that I think about it, ain't this the first time the department has sent us such an important looking miss mission? Maybe they finally come to appreciate our hard work, eh? Well, it's not an impossibility. I'm more inclined to believe this is an odd job that they pushed onto us. Well, it doesn't matter now. Let's go hear the details from Inspector Donovan. Everything goes well, maybe the other divisions will start to warm up to us. Hopefully, once we're uh, ready to head out, let's make our way to the administrative district. Ah, if we're ever on, right, let's go talk to Cop. Cope. Maybe we can give a. Oh. Ooh. Let's give you a cart. Fade one. Uh, shush. Zeta's sleepy, so it's best to leave him alone right now. Onion. Onion. Uh, let's see. Got a little bit of time here. Double check that there's no new thing to purchase here. Burns. Wow, a thousand. How many of those do I have? One. Um, let's see. Orca Village. Uh, East Crossbow? Bust up a monster. Opportunity to get some free Sepith. Yeah, you ain't gonna explode on me now. What's up? Battlefield might be on here, strictly forbidden. Management. Here you go. Getting that free Sabbath. Uh, 
Let's save. Try water. far away. Uh, wind is actually the better element here. Really I mean to instant death and uh we'll call it. Do that. Retarget. Oh, wow. Zero damage. I don't know, you're not taking any damage. Maybe, maybe they never took any damage. Maybe it's just Randy doing Randy things. Get out of here. Mm. 
any palms want to show up, you know, I appreciate it. This time I won't murder the bomb. Out of battle, that is. Spell. And we need to go to the uh, the mine section, which I think is in the residential part of the city. Guess I'm not. At home. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I did this last time. to the SSS building, rest up, used uh, some EP there, need a little extra something something, guess we can just go here. Explore more of the deal front as well. I'm sure some of the doors have unlocked. Yeah, the doll studio. I did forget about that. Oh, not enough to one shot or kill those guys out of what you call it. Am I going the right way? Uh, I guess. Are you positive this is the place? I don't have definitive proof, but everything we found up t up until now points here. There's just too much information about the 13 factories even I don't know about. All we know is that it's a network of 12 workshops that has passed down ancient technology. And supposedly this doll studio is one of them. This is definitely the kind of place she'd stay at. What's the plan, Estelle? Should I go in and investigate? No, it's okay. Lucky for us, we weren't uh, we aren't directly butting heads with the society this time. I'm gonna catch her. I'll have to play by the rules. That's what you think is best. I'm with you. Besides, we still have that auction to worry about. Should we focus on that for now? Sounds good to me. Estelle, Joshua. Huh, the SSS. Hey, what a surprise. Thought I was detecting a familiar presence, but I could not quite pinpoint who it was. Why the heck are you guys here? Does the special support section have some business with the studio? We were just stretching our legs for a bit. What about you? Did the Bracer Guild have a request here or something? Actually, we're here on a personal business. Or we were, at least, but it looks like no one's in right now. On a lighter note, uh, you guys put up a good fight yesterday. How are you feeling? I'm a little sore, but fine overall. Forget us. After all all that yesterday, the two of you look completely unaffected. What gives? You think? I guess these two years of walking everywhere have finally started to pay off. I already cut our conversation short, but it's about time for us to start heading back to Crossbell City. 
I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Be careful on your way back, guys. Of course. You all stay safe, too. Even a moron could tell that they were hiding something for, uh, from us. Maybe true, but I did not sense any guilt coming from them. I don't think it's our place to stick our noses into their private matters. Joshua mentioned that the owner of the doll studio isn't home. Shall we head on back as well, then? Yeah, might as well. I all met Ren for the first time when we were here before. Do those two know her somehow? Alrighty. Well, that was not what I was expecting. You know, it was a nice little, uh, little bit of info right there. Apparently that's one of the 13 factories. Very, very interesting. I seem to remember some information about dolls or like doll studio stuff, but I can't really pinpoint um, what that information is or why it would be important. Uh, I have a feeling that it's not going to occur in this game, though. I think it might occur in, like, Azure. Uh, but anyways, that is where I'm going to be wrapping it up for today. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific, to continue with some rails from zero. I'm going to go get some food. And uh, I don't see anybody streaming, so we out. Peace.